Welcome back to rank three of the 2022 Pokemon Showdown Championship Tournament. We are hot off the trail of the first rank three battle. And right now we've got Dragon Tamer Ty versus Laughing Block. This is bound to be a very interesting battle, just like the one that preceded it, because this is another rematch, not from last year. But if you go all the way back to 2020, these two faced off in rank two. So I am really excited to see what they are going to bring to the table. They have both been doing a lot of prep for this. Let's head down to the pitch. Laughing Block, man, what are your thoughts tonight? Um, I'm scared, but I'm happy not to see a high dragon. That thing was the thing I was scared of most. <laughs> yeah, we've seen nothing um, but high dragons this year. We, we had high dragon versus high dragon just earlier tonight in the last battle. Yes, but Ty has a he has a specialty as I, I as I've noticed. What, despite what little play he's had with it, it has been terrifying. Yeah. Um, this now, team, I didn't I didn't expect the only mon I think I might have expected him to bring here was Rotom Heat and Swampert and Nido King, but like the other three, I did I I thought he would have brought Steelix over Agron mm -hmm. and brought a different Mega, but that's. I'm very interested to see. This is going to be very interesting. Yeah. Now, Block, uh, this is your first time in the Final Four, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hey, good job, man. Excellent. Excellent work this year. Thank you. Now, Ty, Ty, this is your uh, third consecutive year in the Final Four, isn't it? It is. Yeah, and then last year... You went all the way to the top, and uh, you lost to Dry Guide, but it was a hell of a battle. So, how are you feeling about tonight's match? Uh, for these past three years, my only goal has remained the absolute same. Make it to the final four, because just like the avatar I'm using, I can be very happy to say that I made it to the technical Elite Four. So that if I go further than that, like I did last year, cool. It's an added bonus. But as long as I can make uh, some sort of uh, consistency in my battles, like despite how tight, how close, how uh, far they may be, I'm satisfied. Yeah, so basically you're here and everything else is just gravy, right? Oh, yeah. Now, I have noticed something that's a little unusual for you. You know, your model is Lance, your name is Dragon Tamer, but tonight, no dragons. What's up with that? Anything to share? So, I knew fully well that, on the one hand, I knew Laughing Block was going to expect a dragon. Whether it was going to be a high dragon, since I used it in the other two matches, or it was just going to be in general, since I always tend to bring a dragon of some sorts, whether it technically is a dragon, or it looks close enough to be a dragon. And in my eyes, for this, Agron, technically, it, if you look at it very hard, like, you get squint. <laughs> yeah. But if you look at it very hard, like, what, especially when it's Mega, because this should be no surprise, it's a Mega Agron. But if you look at it very closely... Maybe, just maybe, you can excuse it for a dragon. Yeah, I could see that. All right, I buy that. Did I walk in too? Oh, it, you know, you know what I call this? You know what I call this whole situation? Huh? It, what? False advertising. <laughs> oh. Block any anything to say to your opponent tonight? Um, I wish I would have brung, brung, brought some more sus. <laughs> mm. Fair, fair. Ty, what about you, man? All right. I've got one thing for you, Laughing Block, and this is for really anyone who gets the reference. Uh, so uh, bear with me for a second. <clears throat> Insolent boy, this crafter of tricks. Basking in my glory. Ignorant fool. This brave young trainer sharing in my triumph. And that's it. Is that uh, Phantom of the Opera? It sure is. I knew it would be. I didn't know you could wow. sing, man. That's great. I love that I'm we got that on record. Yeah. yeah, he can sing, he can battle, but 
uh, as a note, we have done enough jawing, and I think we are ready to battle. Is that right, guys? Uh-huh. Yeah? All right. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, begin. And here we go. There's the aggro on the tie side of the field. And the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> And the chest not on block side of the field. There's the Mega Agron. Laughing Block is not wasting any time putting up that Leech Seed. The Iron Defense is up, but it does not provide any additional protection against Leech Seed. There's a Super Fang, which also bypasses the Iron Defense. Block is checking Ty's attempted wall here real quick. He knows it. He's switching out to the Umbreon. There's a Super Fang, which does half damage to that Umbreon. Umbreon is known for its tankiness, but that's not going to help it against the Super Fang. Very strong move. Ty's swapping out for the Beedrill. There, or, I mean, Block is swapping out for the Beedrill. There's a Wish from Ty. Looks like he's going to try to heal his Aggron. There's the Mega Beedrill. It's going for a U-turn, which the Aggron is, of course, just going to completely resist and eat that. So, Block is going to bring out, again, his Chesnut. There is the Wish. Doesn't quite fully heal the Aggron's massive HP pool. But Block is wasting no time getting that Leech Seed back up. There's the Body Press. It doesn't really do a whole lot to the Chestnut because Body Press, I believe, is based on the defense stat. But without the Iron Defenses up, it can't do as much. Block forced Ty to switch out, losing his Iron Defenses. He's going to go for his own Rotom Heat. The Super Fang misses. Bad luck on Block's side. Now that Rotom, both battlers have brought a Rotom in today. Ty is bringing the Fire Rotom. Block is, of course, bringing Washu Washu because it just isn't a block battle without Washu Washu. So, Ty's gonna, or Block's gonna bring out his Swampert and immediately get hit by the Toxic. That's not great, but it's a good tight matchup for Block. So, we gotta see if Ty is either gonna switch or pull some move that I haven't seen before. Rotom's got some tricky things he can do that we've seen, but I don't know if Ty's packing anything like that. So, let's see what they do. I think they're really thinking about this next turn. No, he's bringing out his own Swamper. A Swamper versus Swamper. There's a Scald. Did we get the burn? No burn. We just haven't had a lot of luck with the burn on the Scald tonight. Everyone's been throwing out Scalds. Nobody's getting burnt. So now we got Swamper versus Swamper. I have no... Okay, no. He's bringing out the Washu Washu. There's a Stealth Rock. Those rocks are up. Excellent hazard set up by Ty. Block's going to go for the Defog. And there's another Toxic. That Toxic just getting flung out all across Block's team. No, he's going for the Hydro Pump. It just does a little bit of a dent, but not enough. There's a flip turn, and Washu is just totally going to ignore that. Does absolutely nothing, but Ty does get the momentum. He's swapping out for the Gardevoir. The Gardevoir traces the Levitate. Very useful ability to trace. Excellent swap. Now, I wonder what Block is going to do about that. He's got... Uh, two toxic Pokemon, but so far, 13 turns in, we haven't had a single faint. And of course, right about now, I have got to make the normal joke about Rotom Wash, where it's Jack and it's Dick. Just can't, I can't stop looking at it. So, I, okay, no, there's a Psychic. Washy Wash is going to eat it. He's going to go for the Volt Switch. Dents the Gardevoir a little bit, and he's going to bring out the Beedrill instead. Excellent pivot into that fast attacking Beedrill. So let's see what Ty... Whatever Ty does now, something is going to have to eat a powerful attack from that Beedrill. Block's got the momentum right now. So let's see. Now he's bringing out the Rotom, and there is a U-turn. Excellent switch by Ty into the fire type to eat the U-turn. Block is going to bring out... And I have just found time to breathe. Good, my lungs were running out of capacity. He's bringing in the Swampert instead. Checking that fire type. Man, it is just pivot after pivot after pivot today. Nobody's fainted 15 turns in. These guys are being very careful about the HP statuses of their Pokemon. Very smart move. So let's see what they're going to do now. Okay. They're definitely thinking really closely about this turn. There's the Umbreon again. And there's a Scald, and he gets the burn. We got the first burn with the Synchronize. Synchronize doesn't work. It... <clears throat> Ty got the Toxic off, so that's actually really beneficial for Block. Ty just kind of hurt himself by Toxicking that Swampert. Okay, there's the Beedrill again. There's another Wish coming out. Umbreon just being used as a Wish machine here, which I mean with his HP pool pretty good about. There's the Protect. Gonna block the U-turn. The Wish comes down and brings that Umbreon back to 100% health. The Burn's chipping in just a little bit. 
but it doesn't matter because that wish just fully healed it. Still, he's he's mm. used the one protect. Does he risk another protect, or does he swap and eat whatever that bee drill is planning? I don't know. And I wonder what attack block is going to go for. He uses the U-turn again. We haven't seen. I don't think we've seen anything else that that bee drill is packing yet. Bee drill's got a pretty, uh, pretty good attack. No, he goes for the U-turn instead. It doesn't kill the Umbreon. Incredible, but that Umbreon is sitting at 10%. If Ty ever brings it back out, it's not going to be able to do a whole lot before going down. Excellent, excellent dent by block. Umbreon is one of the hardest Pokemon to deal with from a utility standpoint. So getting it to the point where it's basically crippled, it's got one, maybe two turns left with that burn. Okay, block's going to bring out the Indeedy. There's a Psychic Surge. The terrain's up. A foul play is super effective, but doesn't do a whole lot. Now, I'm not terribly familiar with uh, how Psychic Surge works. Uh, there's a Mystical Fire! It's going to take out the Umbreon! Ty knew that the Umbreon wasn't going to do much from here on, so he goes ahead and sacrifices it. 19 turns in. We finally have a feint. Block has taken the first KO. Now, like I was saying, I'm not terribly familiar with, I believe, with Psychic Terrain, so forgive me if my coverage gets a little spotty here, but we'll see what happens next. Ty's going to have to be really conscious about the next Pokemon that he brings out. Because a one wrong move... Okay, he traces the Psychic Surge with the Gardevoir. We got two Psychic types on the field. If there was a Psychic Terrain out, I'd put out my Psychic type too, I think. So, Psychic type versus Psychic type. Block's going to bring out the Swampert instead. There's a Psychic, and the Swampert eats it pretty well. The Toxic's starting to chip in. And there's another Psychic that's going to take out the Swampert! Ty immediately gets revenge for his Umbreon by taking out the Swampert. So what's Ty... Okay, there's the there's the Beedrill again. Man, that Beedrill is just doing so much work today. Really keeping Ty on his toes. So, I wonder what Ty is going to switch or... I mean, he probably will, right? Because we saw him do it earlier. I don't know. Uh, maybe that Gardevoir is packing yeah. something we haven't seen before. I don't know. Okay, there's a U-turn. It's going to take it out. Ty is sacrificing his Gardevoir. That's got to be a calculated move. Okay, there's a Hitmonlee, which I don't see many of those. But really excited to see what it can do. The Psychic Terrain ends. Block's got two KOs under his belt. <clears throat> With the Hitmonlee out, it's got a little special defense boost, uh, I believe, from the Psychic Terrain. I really need to read up more on that because that's the second time we've seen it this year. Uh, and I just don't know what the hell I'm talking about, which is not a great trait for an announcer. Mm. Ty is taking the time while I'm rambling to think about the next Pokemon that he's going to send out. He's in a crucial spot right now where the right Pokemon in the right place or the wrong Pokemon in the wrong place can make all the difference, Mr. Freeman. Okay, and there is the Agron. That's a pretty solid choice getting that wall up when he when he needs to see what block is hiding up his sleeve. Always go with a good defense if you're not sure. That's my motto. There's a bulk up that Hitmonlee is bulking up. There's an iron defense. We're seeing stat boosts all across the board here. There's a high jump kick. It's oh, a crit. Fuck. It takes it out. Boom. Ooh. The aggro is down. Oh. Man, that could have been really bad if I that high jump kick had missed. I think that's the deciding factor of this. Could it be? I I don't know. This I thought this was going to be a long game. Yeah. I well, think I made... Yeah. Well, it's not over yet. The Rotom Heat is out. That Hitmonlee, it's got the attack boost. It's got the defense boost. It's got the special defense boost. It's looking... There's a Stone Edge! He yeah. hits the Stone Edge and takes it out! Not looking good for Ty here. He's down to the Swampert and the Nido King. Block's still also, got most of his team left. Jacob... Jacob, excuse you, it is Bruce Monley. Bruce Monley, yes, it is. I totally, <laughs> I totally missed that. Excellent name. There's an earthquake. It uh, just yeah. straight Another up takes crit. it out. No way. Guys, I think Ty's going down. I think Block is going to the final two. There's a high jump. Yeah. Kick. That's it. Another crit. And it's over, and Block takes the win. Oh, man. Oh, my God. What a battle. Bruce Monley coming through. Well Good played. game, Ty. Good game. Well played, Block. Well played. I got lucky with those. I got lucky with those crits. Yeah. Uh.
there were plays I would have changed, but I decided to stick to it, and I paid the price for them. Yeah, but like you I, said, I'm... you made it all the way to to the final four. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to, to carry on your leg, your your legacy and and souls and obies, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to try to take another at least one, another win for us. Oh, yeah. and I appreciate that. Yeah, man, you're gonna be going up against Dry Guy next block. Oh boy, that's gonna be good. But great battle tonight, guys. That was awesome.